Okay, we're back with another InDesign tutorial. We're using the same file that we did for our bullets and our um, drop cap. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about um, adding a table and using style sheets to set up a table style as well as paragraph styles for your tables. So in this um, document, I have my image. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just delete this image from here uh, so we can have a table in this area. So in order to have a table, the first thing you want to do is create a text box. And you can create a text box like this in there. And what we'll do first is that we'll put a text wrap around that text box so we, you know, it will bounce the text around the uh, table box. So we have a text wrap. Let's put a border around it. And we'll just put you know, an eighth of an inch all the way around. OK, so that's how we start our uh, table we must have a text box. We'll hide this. So here's our text box, and then inside of that, we could you know double click, or we'll click, and then go to table, and hit insert table. So we're gonna make a table that has uh, six rows and four columns. So when you first have a table in InDesign, it's just really basic. Um, so we're gonna put some information in this table. Um, we're gonna have some animals in here, and, and then we're going to put some data inside of each of these cells. This doesn't really matter what it is, just so we have something. And easily what you can do is you can copy, you can drag and copy the uh, information in one cell and then just drag it over all the cells and paste and it'll bring everything in there. Now what you want to do is format your first table. So let's say we want to center our information in the table. Um, we probably want our headers to be a little different. So we may, uh, we're going to make our headers uh, maybe a little bold. Uh, we're also going to center that. And we're going to make our information inside the cells. Uh, we'll make that a little bit smaller, 10 point. Here's the other thing you can do with tables. You can um, select whether you want to align center or align to the top, or align to the center. And also, you can make it uh, the height, whatever height you want. It could be exactly, you know, 0.4 of an inch. So you can have a nice, you know, spaced out table. Um, so there's a couple things you need to do with this table. Uh, so you can, once you have everything set, you can then, uh, you have to create actually three styles. One style for the body text of a table, one style for the header of a table, and then one style for the actual table style. So the first thing we're going to do is create the style for the header. By selecting the text um, in, your, in your header, your first column, um, we're going to create a table. we we'll just call it table header. OK, and we're going to say OK. And then we're going to select that to make sure it's activated. Then we're going to select the body of the table. We're going to create another style. We'll call that table body. You say OK. And we'll select and activate that. So when we select this, table header is selected. When we select the body, the table body is selected. Now you might also want to do some things, you know, to make the table look a little bit, you know, a little bit nicer. Um, Actually, I'm going to make, uh, so we're going to make alternate rows. So once you do that, you can select the table. And then you can go to Table and Table Options. And then we're going to do Alternate Fills. So here's my you know, our table setup. Move this around a little bit. And then, OK, so we're in this table option, and there are different options that you can put in here. Uh, and you can do, you know, the table border can be a different um, width. You can have, you know, the, the border could be 0.25, right? We can have strokes. We're going to leave all this other stuff. And the fills, we're going to have a fill every other row. And it's already black. You can change that color if you want. You can make it blue. You can make it the percentage of that color, so it's going to be lighter. Um, and then... Uh, we can say, you know, skip the first row. So the first row, we don't want it to be alternate fills. We want the fills to start from row number 
really in row number one, which is not the header row. Okay, so once you have that, that's what it kind of looks like. Uh, but we also have these strokes in the middle. We want to have to change that. So what you want to do is select your table, right? By clicking and dragging, you can control, uh, click, and go to cell options, or you can go to under table cell options, strokes and fills. And we're going to make the strokes uh, 0.25 because we made the uh, stroke on the table 0.25. And I'm going to say OK. So there you have a nice looking table um, with alternate fills. Now, once we've done all that work, um, notice our styles are still haven't changed, right? Our styles still look good. Our header style and our body style still look good. But what if we want to um, really have this table duplicated? We don't want to have to do all our work again. So let's say we have a, a second table in our document somewhere. Now, of course, we could just copy and paste this, right? But let's do it the right way. So we will create a second text box. Come by here. And we're going to put a, once again, we have to put the uh, text wrap on that box. And we're going to put about 0.125, one eighth of an inch. So we have two tables kind of coming back to back. Um, and in here, we're going to do the same thing where we're going to insert the table with six rows, four columns. We'll say, okay, it's just really basic. Um, and we're going to copy, so we're going to copy this information um, directly into that table. Now, you certainly can do that, um, but let's say you had a table and all the information was a different font. You brought it in from Excel or Word, and it kind of looks like this. Well, you already have styles set up on your tables, so we can select the top uh, row and we can name that uh, header and then we can select the body and we can name that uh, table body but look at the table it's not formatted like this table so what we need to do is we need to select the first table and then go to uh, window styles table styles so this is new because it's not like a regular paragraph style it only is a style for tables. So you can then go and add a new table style, and we'll just call that table. It has everything already set in it because we selected it first. So it's going to remember everything from this style, and then you have to activate it. So it doesn't affect the text or the headers. It just affects everything that's in the table. So this is now a table style. Therefore, we can come over here and select this entire table and because we have a table style, we just click it. And there we have our style. Now, uh, we know that uh, our table is 0.3. So we can then select, uh, I think it's 0.4. So here we have the table, the second table. Looks exactly like the first table. Um, actually, I selected all all uh, all rows so it definitely um, they all became 0.4 so if I want to select this row I could make that exactly 0.4 of an inch and you will get uh, the exact same table so by doing um, table style and doing uh, a style for your um, cells and a style for your headers you're able to use style sheets to create tables and then replicate that table throughout your document